Hello, we are FTC Team 7105, and in this video we will be discussing the general format options and rules for the FTC Engineering Notebook. The notebook is really important because it records your journey as a team throughout each season. It teaches you how to document well, and it's required to win awards at competition. You won't be eligible for any awards if you don't submit a journal. First, we're going to talk about some general formatting options. There are two main options. You can either write your journal out by hand or type it electronically and print it. The judges don't prefer a specific method, so when choosing which method you are going to use, just consider the pros and cons. Some nice things about handwritten journals are they are very unique and personal to each team, and all the different handwriting styles prove to the judges that multiple people worked on the journal. It's also easier than electronic journals to include sketches. With digital journals, you either have to take pictures of your drawings or scan them into a computer. But with handwritten journals, you can draw sketches directly into the journal. Also, unlike digital journals, you don't have to print out handwritten journals. Depending on where and how you print your journal, it could be expensive. The bad things about handwritten notebooks are that sometimes the handwriting can get messy, so it's hard to read. Also, it's hard to stick with your format and keep it consistent. And it's hard to rearrange your sections and information. And even though it's easier to include sketches in handwritten journals than in digital journals, it's hard to include photos. In digital journals, you can put photos directly into the journal, but in handwritten journals, you have to print them out and then glue them in. So they're better for sketches, but worse for photos. It's also hard to access handwritten journals, since there's only a single hard copy. You can't work on it wherever and whenever you want, and it's not easy for multiple members to access it at the same time. However, with digital journals, it's very easy to access. You can access it from anywhere at any time, and multiple members can work on it at the same time. You don't have to worry about handwriting, and it's very easy to stick with your format or modify and rearrange your information. The only downsides are it's not as personal. The judges can't really verify whether or not everyone contributed, and the printing may be expensive. Now we're going to talk about some general notebook rules. These are the bare minimum requirements for your notebook to be eligible for awards. These are ranked in order of importance. If you don't follow the first two rules, your journal will be immediately disqualified and you won't be eligible for any awards. The last two will not immediately disqualify your journal if not followed, but they are still important. First, you need to have a cover on your journal and your cover has to have your team name and number on it. If you do not have this, your journal will immediately be disqualified. You also need to have a summary page and we will talk more about this in another video. If you don't have a summary page, you will also be immediately disqualified. There are three required sections. You need to have an engineering section, a team section, and a team plan. To learn about the required content for each of these sections, be sure to check out our other videos. The rings of your notebook binder cannot be more than three inches. If you have more pages than can fit into one binder, you can submit two binders. However, judges will not look at more than two binders. So if you have more information than can fit into two three inch binders, then you should cut back your information. Most teams only submit one binder. It's not necessarily better to submit two since judges look for quality over quantity. However, you can submit two if you can't fit all your information into one binder or if you like the organization it gives you. For example, some teams put all their engineering information into one binder and all their team information into another binder. And some teams put all their meeting entries into one binder and then everything else into another binder. So you could use two separate binders to help organize your information. Just know that judges will not look at more than two notebooks and quality is more important than quantity. Throughout your entire journal, if there are any blank pages or sizable black spots, you need to draw an X through them with a pen. Or if you're making an electronic journal, you can fill it with a box or a picture. That's just to show the judge there was supposed to be something there and it fell out. 
and it's also to make sure you don't go back and f add stuff later. So that's it for the engineering notebook, format, and rules. Thank you for watching this video. To learn about the required sections of the engineering journal, be sure to check out our other videos.